welcome back to my channel little girl i'm in jay here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so today guys we're going to be reacting to be uh biden just got some horrible news hmm. let's check it out guys now as a veteran of many years in american politics i'm going to tell you something somewhat shocking joe biden will not be the nominee of the democratic party in 2024 Ooh. Kamala Harris will briefly become president, but the only way in their party they can replace a woman of color is with another woman of color. And yes, you heard it here first, the Democratic nominee for president will be Michelle Obama. They have already rigged their primaries. The reason that they have canceled the Iowa caucuses in the New Hampshire primary is to put South Carolina, a state where a majority of the Democratic primaries are Afri primary voters are African Americans, and they will allow Gavin Newsom to purchase the vice presidential nomination, but the Obamas will hold him up for six or eight hundred million dollars to do so. You heard it here first. When Steve Bannon says it in three weeks, remember I said it first. Mm. Who is this person? More and more people are openly questioning whether Biden will even be on the ticket in 2024. Not whether Roger Stone is right about Michelle Obama. I mean, that remains to be seen. But it increasingly appears to be open season for the Democrats in terms of who they're going to support. According to an analysis from 538, were a rematch to occur between Biden and Trump together with the emergence of a third party candidate that would spell in 538's words a nightmare scenario for Biden. And that's because there are already two emerging alternatives, viable alternatives to Biden. The no labels organization working towards fielding a centrist ticket, possibly headlined by Joe Manchin. And then you've got Cornell West, a well-known political progressive, launching a bid for the Green Party's nomination. Now, we reported last week that Manchin is scheduled to headline the third party event, speculating, obviously fueling speculation, he might indeed challenge President Joe Biden as a third party presidential candidate in the 2024 election. Manchin has thus far refused to endorse Bumblin' Biden, and he's also refused to rule out a third party challenge. And so the fact that he's attending not just a political event in New Hampshire, but one that uh, deliberately aims to provide an alternative candidate to Biden and Trump, that's huge. And Cornell West, for his part, he's consistently stealing upwards of 5 percent of the vote from Biden. And so this analysis from 538 just confirms what many have already surmised. A third party candidate, such as a no labels candidate or a Cornell West candidacy, dramatically shifts the election dynamics in favor of Trump. Now, this is what happens when a majority of your own party doesn't want you running again. This is the devil's bargain, you know, coming to the fore for the Democrats. Most Americans, including Democrats, would prefer Biden didn't run again. A recent Associated Press poll surveying over a thousand voters found that a whopping 73 percent don't want Biden running again. That includes 52 percent of Democrats. Only 26 percent of respondents wanted Biden to run again. So if you give even Democrats another option, they may take it. This is why the Democrats are freaking out over Bobby Kennedy. Kennedy has risen to upwards of 20 percent support in some of the polls. And we have polling that shows that about a third of Democrats don't know that much about Bobby Kennedy. And of those, that third, two thirds want to see someone else other than Biden. So this is why the Biden camp is freaking out over Bobby Kennedy Jr. They know he's definitely formidable when a third of their party hasn't formed an opinion on him yet. And two thirds of those want someone other than Biden. So you got Manchin threatening Biden from the center. You've got Cornell West threatening Biden from the left, and you've got Bobby Kennedy threatening Biden for the Democrat nomination itself. And there are signs, very real signs, that Biden is dropping out. He's not going to go through with the 2024 campaign. Wait until you see this. But first, many of you have been kind enough to notice that I've lost a few pounds of late. It's true. 60 
pounds. That's right, gang. I tried everything under the sun to lose weight over the years. Nothing worked until I discovered the fantastic nutrition coaching of PhD Weight Loss. PhD Weight Loss is a 100% over-the-phone nutrition behavior coaching program that I simply cannot recommend enough. I was able to eat delicious meals all the while reaching my weight loss goals in record time. And gang, it was one of the easiest things I ever did. They completely take out all the guesswork behind what, when, and how much to eat. They make the process painless, simple, and as easy as possible. Dr. Ashley Lucas has helped thousands achieve their health goals over the last 15 years. And guess what, gang? You're next. Do it. Change your life today by clicking on that link below or give them a call at 864-644-1900. Tell them Dr. Steve sent you. Join me and thousands of other patriots who are taking back control of our health. Click on that link below or go to myphdweightloss.com. Politico is reporting that Joe Biden has basically stopped spending on his political campaign. During the second quarter of this year, Biden's campaign spent a total of $1.1 million. Now, just to give you some perspective, during the same time period in his first term, Barack Obama had spent over $11 million, 10x what Biden is spending, and Obama barely got reelected. Moreover, Biden isn't raising money anywhere near what Obama raised. Biden has thus far raised less than half of what Obama did from small donors in a comparable period. To add to all this, right now as we speak, Biden only has four people on his campaign payroll. Four. Which has many asking, has he given up? Is Biden basically admitting he's not even going to run? You see, the problem here, as Roger Stone alluded to earlier, the problem is that the establishment Democrats cannot have the populist Bobby Kennedy completely steal the party away from them like Trump did with the Republicans. Right? I highlighted in our video over the weekend the observation made by American University professor Alan Lichtman that Trump now represents the mainstream of the Republican Party. Trump effectively stole the party from neocons and rhinos. And we saw that with the Tucker interviews over the weekend, didn't we? Right, where candidates like Mike Pence and Nikki Haley and Asa Hutchinson, who all once would have been considered firmly part of the Republican mainstream, they were all revealed to be complete has been, particularly Pence. I mean, that interview that with Tucker was an utter career-destroying disaster. But establishment donors on the left don't want what Trump did with the Republican Party to happen to them with Bobby Kennedy. They're populist. So as far as the powers that be are concerned, Kennedy is not a viable option. And of course, Cackles Kamala. I mean, we all know she's a joke. She has no viability for 2024. And so that really leaves us with no one else other than Gruesome Newsom of California. And according to Roger Stone, Michelle Obama. But none of that's going to matter if you've got a viable third-party candidate stealing votes from the Democrats. So 2024 just got even more interesting as Biden becomes even more irrelevant. Hey, gang, I know what it's like to feel alone. Okay. So, all right. But what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think just because he's, um, Biden is not raising money or he's not spending or he doesn't have most people in his bureau, does that literally mean that he's not running? Do- He's not ready to run again for office. What do you guys think? And what do you guys think about uh, Michelle Obama be running for president? Uh, for me, I think it's high time to, they, they should go and rest. They've done enough for America. They need to rest, guys. Because to me, I think Michelle Obama coming to run for president is as good as saying Obama is running. There's no difference if you ask me. But what do you guys think? I would love to hear what you guys think. What's your thought of this? And who do you think is likely to win? The way it seems now, from the way it seems, I see Joe Biden is is literally out of out of it. So, do you think um, RFK Junior? Do you think um, do you think the, uh, Kennedy Junior? Do you think he has he has potential to win or Trump? What do you think of Vivek, the guy that is that is causing several havoc? What do you guys think? Who do you think is likely to win this? time around. I really love to hear from you guys and of course don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Take off yourself, be you do you but do not conform and until I come around and guys take care. Bye.